You know, I've gamed on some pretty stupid devices in my time. The Trimble Yuma. The Leapster GS. Maybe most stupid of all, the Ioneo 2S. The- oh, oh wait, I haven't made a video about that one yet. But I'm hoping to break that record today. I'm hoping that today's item is the stupidest thing I will ever game on. Well, maybe not ever. I hope I can top it eventually, but this definitely takes the cake for everything I've looked at up until now. And what is this item, you ask? Scan translator. I hardly know her. So a while ago, I came across this video by Taki Udon, where he found some weird piece of crap calculator on Alibaba or something, and he got it to run games. And the only reason that worked is because this thing is Android based. So I got to thinking, what other wacky devices are Android based? And I did a whole lot of looking and Googling, and there's a whole bunch of stuff out there, and I hope to cover quite a bit of it. But one thing that really stood out to me is the scan translator. So I kind of know what this is already, but I've never used used one. It's supposed to be a thing where if you want to read a book or a newspaper or whatever that's in like a different language, you can use this thing to physically scan across the lettering and it will show you or read out to you uh, what it says in your native language, which is actually a pretty cool thing. I don't really have a use for it because God knows I don't read. <laughs> but I've got other purposes for this thing. Purposes more sinister. Videos. Okay, so here's the thing. I have opened the box already, but it was just to make sure this thing was charged. I haven't booted it up at all. So this thing is modern enough to have a type C. Oh, one. What was that? Did you hear that? Someone was like, Opera one! What do you want with me? I want you to try Opera One. I will also be stealing your voice to tell you about it. With Opera One, it's not just about speed. It's a reimagining of what a web browser can be. It's packed with features that make navigating the internet easier and more convenient all by default. I'm sure you've installed ad blockers in your browser before, and ever since then you can't live without them. I know I can't. Opera One has an ad blocker and tracker blocker that you can activate. But everyone knows that for the best internet experience, an ad blocker isn't enough. That's why Opera has included a built-in VPN that not only works in Opera One, but system-wide as well. That's pretty sick. My my favorite feature of Opera One by far though is the ARIA AI integration. When I'm doing research for videos, it's pretty normal for the stuff that I'm looking for to be scattered all over the internet and it can be tough to find sometimes. ARIA AI cuts my research time down significantly and instead of spending time scrolling through hundreds of old forum posts, all I have to do now is fact check. ARIA can be prompted lightning quick with a key combo to bring up the command window at any time while you're browsing. This speeds up the whole process even more. Well, have you been enlightened? Absolutely! I'm gonna let all my viewers know that they can download Opera One using the link in the description to start using the most feature-rich browser available. Oh, right you are. I'll let you get back to your Chinese translator pen now. I imagine this is a speaker. This is the actual scan head thing that scans the paper. I don't entirely know how this works. I don't know if this is any different from just a camera or what, but yeah, that's a thing. Um, we got a couple buttons, pretty standard for Android, power, volume up, volume down. Uh, and then we've got blue mic and red mic. This is probably microphone holes. I don't know. You can't, you guys can't even get on me this time because there's no documentation. See, look, it's just cables. Wait, what the heck? Wait, what the heck? What in the world? These are like, what? These are like the old school, I mean, not really old school, but like the pre AirPod Apple headphones. I think they're called ear pods. Oh my God. But then the interesting thing is that they're type C. What? Did Apple make type C ear pods? There's no way, these have to be counterfeit. I don't know if Apple ever made actual type C ear pods. Because I know they've got these ones that are lightning. I think I even own a pair of these. Actually, let me see if I can find those. Okay, so here is the OEM Apple ones. I think this came with like an iPhone 10 or something. I don't remember. But as you can see, it's a lightning connector. But this is just so weird. Okay, so there's no inline remote on the fake ones. Oh my god, dude, they're so close. Honestly, the only giveaway on the fake ones, which are on the right here, is that the mesh that they're using is like a little more blue tinted. Dude, they are identical. Wow, that is bizarre. Why would you go through all of the effort to clone like the crappiest headphones ever made? Like nobody likes these things. They fall out of everybody's ears. The design is very human. I don't know, that's just, that kind of blew my mind. 
Okay, carrying on. We've also just got a type C to type A regular old cable. So now that we've looked at that, why don't we power this bastard on? Zhu <laughs> Zhi Yu Scan Talker. Bruh, I looked it up on Google Translate to find the pronunciation. Shui Ji Yu. That's the pronunciation, apparently. But if you translate it to English? Blood lipids have. What does it mean? This thing is shaping up to be a fantastic device so far. Let's get nope. the free screen protector off. I'm pretty sure this thing was like $100 or something, too. I'll have to double check. I just know it wasn't cheap. Is there another screen protector? Oh my god, there's a screen protector under the free screen protector. Another one. They even screwed it up and there's a bubble. Okay, so here it is. Let's see if we can't get this brightness increased. 28% battery, that's a lie. This was charged to 100% before I started. That does not bode well for this thing so far. I suppose I will be plugging it in then. Oh my. It's like Android, but you're missing five sixths of your phone. Okay, maximum brightness is still not very bright, sadly. Oh, scanning failed. I didn't know I was trying to scan. Please scan. Okay, actually, let's try this. How about Hyundai Class Action Settlement Documentation? Okay, we're gonna scan the word settlement. Settle. Okay, it got most of it, I guess. Let's try again. Settlement. <laughs> How does this work? How am I supposed to be scanning? Do I just have to go fast? Settlement and. Wow. Settlement. Settlement and S. Let's try and just translate some text. Under the proposed settlement and subject. What the heck? I, I don't think this thing can actually scan all that much. Do you just have to go really fast? Oh, you just have to go quick. I don't know if this has a speaker. You need headphones? So what's this on the back? Is that not a speaker? Whatever. I don't know. So what if I just like draw all over the screen? Like... Okay, did not like that. I think I was kind of using this wrong. I was holding it straight up and down. I think you're supposed to go at an angle. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it works better when you do that. Okay, it doesn't actually work that bad. It's weird that there's no speaker. That's very, very strange. You'd think there would be a speaker. Okay, well, let me grab these godforsaken headphones and see if it's actually outputting audio. Dude, the battery's going down. The Bluetooth oh my god, that was loud. Okay, so I'm definitely getting audio. It just sounds like the default Google Translate voice. So this is actually really cool. I can see this being super useful if you live somewhere and you don't really speak the native language all that well, or you can't really read it, or you're just trying to get better at it. Because like, say you see a word and you're like, oh, I don't know how the heck to pronounce that. So you just go, whoop, a federal court ought. <laughs> So then you're like, okay, so I don't know how to pronounce federal, so now I can just scan it, and now I can just hear it. That seems pretty useful, actually. I'm guessing these buttons down here are for, like, I say something in English, and then it translates it to somebody else, and then they speak in, like, Chinese, and then it translates that back to English for me. It's like a, like a conversation thing. Um, I need to figure out the charging situation for this, because it's dying quick. Okay, it was refusing to charge on my C2C charger. I have to use an old-school Type-A charger. Yeah, now it's fine. I'm guessing this Type-C port doesn't actually support Type-C protocol properly. Wow, this thing on the side is really infuriating because you press it and then it opens the thing. Oh wait, hold on, I just realized that I heard the speaker. Listen. Yeah, that was like the little Android charging sound. So, what the heck? Volume max. Oh, there we go. I think the Type-C charger that I plugged in was bugging it out and thinking it was headphones because now it's fine. So yeah, this thing actually works pretty good. What is this? If you begin to get these IOIs from your targeted female, chances are she's ready to be kissed. What is this? Oh, it's examples of the word these? That is a odd example sentence, but okay. So I think we've seen most of what can be seen here. So I want to try something now. Oh yeah, it's definitely Android. I've been messing around with Android for a really long time now, doing custom ROMs and brooding and all that good fun stuff. And on a lot of Android devices, you can just hold the power button and volume down and you can get to like a recovery menu. And I just want to see if that's the case here. Okay, so it doesn't seem to like that. Oh, wait, no, hold on, here, hold on. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna turn the light off because it's at like minimum brightness right now. Android recovery, oh my God, this is cursed. Okay, so let's, uh, oh, hey, there's the, the CPU, I imagine. Rock chip something, TO3 Pro, I don't know. Uh, it looks like it's Android 8.1, so of course it's ancient. So we're kind of on our own as far as like support for this thing. I don't think anyone on the planet, I don't think there's like an XDA page for this thing. Okay, well, I'm just gonna plug this into my computer and see what I can find out. 
Okay, so fast boot mode was more or less a dead end. However, it looks like debugging is already enabled just in the OS on this thing. So as you can see, it's right here. We can just do whatever we kind of want at that point. So we can get into the shell, read out the file system, and then this is what you would probably recognize if you've been using Android at all. Um, this is the internal storage. You've got your downloads folder, music, movies, pictures. And so now what I'm gonna do here is install a copy of Nova Launcher, just so we can actually get some real kind of launcher on this thing. So now the trick is going to be hitting the quote unquote home button on this thing. So I'm not sure about that one. Uh, yeah, okay, hold on, new idea. I think there's a way to switch the default launcher over command line. Actually, can I just have it open the default Android settings app? <gasps> oh, oh, yes I can. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere now. Okay, so we have the regular settings app open. Okay, this is great. Can I rotate? No. Oh, we've got two gigabytes, okay. I wanna see if we can plug in a flash drive too. Uh, is there a rotation? Rotate. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. I'll figure out the screen rotation someday, maybe. I don't know, doesn't really matter that much. Oh my God, dude, it has Bluetooth. Oh my God, I'm so excited, dude. <laughs> I can't even like contain myself. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm hoping this thing is kind of capable. VPN, ethernet? All right, all right, dude, I'm like really excited. This is awesome. Okay, what were we doing? Okay, I had to change the launcher. That's what I was doing. Let's set Nova Launcher as default. Nova Launcher, home app, yes. But the problem is we still don't have a home button. I wonder if I can enable the software keys like on most Android phones. We are rebooting now. Theoretically, we're gonna have some uh, navigation keys. While I'm here, I do wanna see if we can enable rotation. Ooh, that's different. Oh my God, we're in Nova Launcher. This is so silly. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so broken. This like doesn't actually work. Oh, there we go. Oh my God, it's so messed up. Okay, I think we need to figure out rotation. This thing may not have a sensor to tell what orientation it's in. So rotation might just not work. So I can't seem to control the screen rotation over ADB. So I'm going to try and install some app that'll do it for me. Uh, no idea if this is gonna work. The fact that we have root access is really good though. That should help with things. Oh no, I changed the screen density and I made it bigger. Okay, there we go. I have set the DPI to 100. So it's a lot less readable, but it's a lot more usable now. Okay, after much messing around with this thing, I have found a way to get some navigation keys, which is great. Uh, so we can actually go home back. Uh, I've also found this app that will let me change the screen orientation, just like that. So we are chilling now. Uh, we still don't have a notification bar. I'm not really sure why. Uh, I tried to do some shell commands that would enable it, um, but it just wouldn't work. Technically, the navigation bar shell commands wouldn't work either. I just had to install a app that acts as an accessibility service and then overlays some nav bar elements on the screen. So it's not actually a nav bar, but you know, it works. Okay, so the next step is to see the specs of this thing. And to do that, we have IDA64. All right, let's get a look at this. Oh man, okay, so it's made for ants, but it is a quad core 64-bit CPU, which is actually more than I expected out of this thing. What the hell, plumbing repair, get out of here. The screen is 340 by 800, that's pretty sick. And there's that camera. Oh, you know what? Okay, there's, so there's a couple more things I wanna try with this. I wanna see if I can call the camera and like take a picture with it. Oh, what is going on? Whoa. Okay, so there's a camera calibration app. That's what I'm in right now. Wow, look at that. That is strange. There's also some other interesting apps on here. So there's this. Um, uh, oh, it's a keyboard theme. Okay, so you can change the keyboard theme. And then the calculators here as well. This might have just been on here by default. I'm not sure. There wasn't much you could launch from that other launcher, so I'm not sure. There's an APK installer app, which I didn't put on here. So that's kind of interesting. And despite having access to the super user command on uh, ADB shell, for whatever reason, apps still don't have root access. And I'm not really sure why. And I checked and the su binary is definitely in that path, so uh, I don't know. Oh no, I lost my nav bar. Oh no, no. All right, time to reboot again. This is what I've had to do before I got the nav keys working. I've had to reboot this thing every single time that I want to go back to the home menu. And it's a pain in the ass. Okay, but luckily just rebooting it brings the nav bar back. There's also this wacky app, which is just Chinese. So not much I can do in there, but that's it for the software on this thing. And one thing I wanted to try is to see if this thing has USB OTG support. 
So I've got this type C dock right here. So we're gonna plug this in. And then on the other end, I have an Xbox controller plugged in, although it's not getting power. So I might have to power the dock. So I've got power running to the dock from this USB cable. And unfortunately it does not seem to work like that. Why isn't it possible? Okay, that sucks. And just to validate that this does work. What the heck, dude? Plug in an Xbox controller and it wants to install Xbox Game Pass? Dude, get out of here. Anyway, yeah, that works. So there's not gonna be a way to plug in a USB controller to this thing, but that is actually okay. Because from what I saw on this thing, it should have Bluetooth. So we'll enable Bluetooth, pair a new device. Come on. Yes. Oh yeah, let's go. Okay, cool, cool. So that works. Oh man, I should have just done this to begin with. I can just do everything I gotta do from a controller. Okay, cool. So now that we've confirmed that that works, the next step is to get some games loaded on this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, first up, PlayStation 1. Oh man, this is ridiculous. Oh my God, the speaker. I'm so glad this speaker actually works. We drive in that Miat. Oh, let's go. Well, it's not great. Oh, it's really not great. This is giving me uh, Leapfrog vibes. Although the Leapfrog was a little bit better than this. Okay, so it's not 100% speed, but it's not horrible. It feels like I don't know, like 60 to 70% speed. It runs though. Oh! Okay, I switched it over to Vulcan, but it apparently does not work. But that's PS1. All right, let's try PSP. You know, the one nice part about this device is that if you did want to use the on-screen controls, they kind of just end up on like the margins of the screen. Oh no. Oh no. Running slowly, frames get Okay. <laughs> oh, it's chugging. I'm going to set frame skip to two and see if that helps. Actually, we'll just do auto frame skip. You know, we're going to enable all kinds of speed hacks. All right. How about now? Oh, let's go. We're playable now, boys. This is so dumb. It like actually kind of works. Again, it's not 100%, but it's happening. And I could be wrong, but this also seems like a bit more of a graphically intensive PSP game. So this is pretty dang good in my opinion. This is ridiculous. Let me remind you guys, this is the size of the device we're working with here. Here's a double uh, A battery. This thing is so ridiculously small. Wow, I'm impressed. Okay, what else can we try? Where else on this entire godforsaken website that we call YouTube are you ever gonna see anybody else playing Lego Indiana Jones on the Chinese English translator device? Where else? Tell me. Oh, that's right. There is nowhere else. I'm the only one powerful enough to do this. Anyway, this kind of sucks. All right, I was really, really hoping to be able to try a GameCube or Wii game on here, but it's, um... Oh, hold on. This didn't appear before. Okay. Never mind, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's sure something. Okay, I'm not even gonna really attempt to do anything with that. Okay, how about a GameCube game? This thing is utterly unbelievable. This is what hell sounds like. Oh my god, my monkeys are feeling so bald right about now. Oh my god. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. Okay, enough of that. Like, dude, this thing is just so amazing. It can watch fucking Interstellar. Oh yeah. This is nothing short of absolutely incredible. This thing is playing Half-Life like a champ. This is amazing. This runs so good. It's not gonna show up on the video, but this is running 60 FPS, no issues at all right now. I'm like so impressed with this thing. This is incredible. It actually fills the screen too, which is cool. You get like an ultra wide Half-Life experience. But there's one game left to play. Oh my God, it's trying. Oh, it's trying. So I'm streaming Doom with Steam Link. Oh no. Hello. Okay, it's having some issues. Oh. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Okay, I got one more trick up my sleeve. Okay, I have disabled audio and I have set quality to be- Wow. Didn't even let me finish my sentence. As I was saying, we've disabled audio and I've set the video to stream at the fastest performance possible. However, I don't think it's gonna be enough. Oh boy. Nope. Okay, 
Well, I have one more trick up my sleeve. Uh, actually, no, I don't. Never mind. I was gonna use Parsec, but it just does this. So, trick no longer up sleeve. Okay, well, you did your best. All right, well, I think that's gonna conclude uh, Android gaming on the uh, Scan Talker pen. This thing is pretty dope. I mean, not really, but like the fact that this works at all is sick. And the fact that it comes pre-rooted is sick. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, taking a look at this stupid thing. I'll see you in the next one.